Ann Antler. I'll be interviewing uh, Jerry Gillian, um, an abstract uh, painter. Um, Jerry is also one of the artists in the Riverdale Art Walk, um, showcased, it's starting this weekend. It goes on, it's a virtual show, a two week virtual show. And Jerry's also um, part of the tent tour this upcoming weekend. So you could uh, take a look at that and make sure you go check out her work in person. It's a great opportunity to do that. So we're really excited about that happening this weekend. And we're just waiting for her to join. Oh, there I see. So I'm just going to see if I can ask her to join. There she is. Be coming on any minute. Um, again, the Riverdale Art Walk um, opens this Friday and runs for two weeks. And we have our opening on Thursday night on Zoom. So make sure you join us for that too. Hi, Jillian. Hi, it's Jerry. Jerry, sorry. Jerry, it's okay. Sorry. It's totally fine. Um, how, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm so excited um, to actually put my paintings all up in one place. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you're talking about this weekend. It'll be um, an exciting time for a lot of people because it's sort of the beginning of the outdoor season, the outdoor show season. We'd normally be in Jimmy Simpson Park, but as you know, we can't do that. No, uh, yeah. So we're primarily a virtual show, but there's 25 artists participating. You're one of them that you're going to put a booth up on your front property your front actually I don't have else. I don't have room for a tent. I live uh, in, actually live in Riverdale in Toronto and like there's no room for me to put a tent up, but I do have a garage, so I'm gonna put up stuff on the side of the garage down the alley. Oh, awesome! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's that's a, awesome. It's yeah. a really well traveled um, alley up to Riverdale Park. A lot of dog walkers and just people generally just sort of walking in the neighborhood. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to just showing my stuff to people <laughs> yeah talking about art and it'll, it's an opportunity yeah. I think, for neighbors to actually know that you are an artist and that you show your work and um, for people to get a glimpse into your life um, mm. and hopefully yeah. um, meet some new patrons potentially right as well yeah so I'm looking awesome. forward to the actual connection with people and just yeah. hearing their responses about you know like you know it's, it's not for everyone obviously it's it's very personal art but uh, when people are attracted to a certain thing, they want to ask questions and how did you get, what does this mean? So it's so going to be maybe great. You can tell us, yeah, maybe you can tell us a little bit um, about your art practice. Um, I think your background is in textiles and that sort of informs some of your work. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about that to start. Yeah, um, I have a, a career that I love. I'm a costumer for the film industry and through that type of work. I work with textiles a lot. Uh, I started as a seamstress and then I worked as a textile artist doing like dyeing and printing and all that kind of stuff. Aging. That's another thing that we do a lot. Like we buy a lot of right. new clothes and make them look old. So I'm um, uh, those sort of fabric manipulation techniques. Um, they're finding their way into the paintings for sure. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you and in your studio there? Um, I am. Would you like a little tour? Yeah. What, do you want to just show us a little bit yeah. about your work, and then you can talk about your um, process and your practice okay. a little bit more? Okay. Yeah, it'd be no great to, for people to see you. Because I'm not as familiar with your work. This is the first time you've been in the Riverdale. Yeah. I, you know, Even I, though you live in the neighborhood, yeah. Yeah. No, I've never really actually shown my work before, so this is all new. Oh, so awesome. Th these are pieces that are going to be in the show, and... I'm test driving this grid system because I've never done any of these kind of outdoor exhibits before. Right. And down there, that's all paintings that are lined up, lined up, ready to go. And some more over here. Oh, wow. You've got a good body of work. <laughs> I have so much. Uh, I've been painting for like 30 years, but just have never shown anybody. And as we go over here, there's a few more. And oh, the one on your easel um, looks beautiful, that one. Oh, thank yeah. you. I'm not sure if it's done, but it's getting close. Like, we're, right. we're still communicating, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, we're still talking, so we're not quite done, but we're getting close. Um, so, yeah, this is a very, um, I'll put you back, a very special room in my house. Um, it's my, my painting studio. My, it's a right. practice studio. Like I do yoga in here and I've 
attempting to meditate, but what I'm finding is the paintings are meditation, right? Like you're just so involved in them, everything else kind of falls away. I think I can actually see that with your work um, quite easily um, because it sort of has a lot of the work that I see online anyway. Um, it's a little bit harder to see because we're further away and with, with the camera, yeah. maybe next, maybe later on you can go a little bit closer up. Yeah. But um, they kind of have like a central sort of drawing um, point. It almost reminds me, I mean, not really tie dye, but sort of that concept of like, mm -hmm. sort of like going into like a point and sort of draws you in. And I think that that helps with meditation. If I think about all that, because I meditate a little bit. Yeah. I practice yoga a little bit. <laughs> but yeah. um, I think these sorts of things kind of like, it gives you sort of a focal point or like uh, sort of a movement towards something that seems like that's like, there's quite a bit of movement in your pieces, even yeah. though there is like, like there's circles and they're rotating around, but there is sort of like a central, a lot of them seem to have a central sort of um, uh, focal area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's just a um, constant experimentation with different materials and color combinations to try and like, you know, is it so when, too much oh, to let, you know, bringing it yeah. back and forth, right. To try and find the right sort of tone for it. So when you say different materials, I, in my mind, I thought of you as an acrylic artist, but, um, yeah, what, but maybe primarily, I, I, I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe you can talk a little bit about that when you say like different materials, like what is your process, um, yeah. you're laying down to your layers and well, I'm, I'm pretty much open to anything that's like a water media. So that's right. what watercolor or gouache or acrylics. Um, and any of the sort of like, I use ink pencils and, Kind of anything that kind of blends with water blends into the painting. Like I'm happy right. to use any of that. And I'm reaching for different tools all the time and experimenting with a lot of texture to start with and then refining it. And I sand a lot yeah. to kind so of the ex excavate that, the layers. So does that create that like a uh, smoother sort of like transition from different colors when you're standing back or just revealing yeah. little pinpoints of different colors? Yeah, that are under exactly. Layers exactly. Or? Yeah. Yeah. It's like sometimes I'll put a layer of something on and then I'll be like, Oh, what have I done? And then I'm like trying to scrub it off or something. And then you're like, Oh, well that's kind of neat. <laughs> right. Yeah. So every, yeah. every, every step matters, you know, it's all building towards something that's creating something new. Yeah, so it sounds like you're a very intuitive painter where the one layer is going to next inform the next and whatever you're Absolutely. doing. Absolutely. You don't have like a exact, um, you don't really have a pr exact image of what you're actually, what your end goal is. It kind of is, it kind of evolves. No, is that, is that fair yeah. to say? Yeah, like I, I ha I've had to throw that idea out the door years ago. Like I'd have all these sketches and I'm going to paint this and then you get in there and that's not what you're painting. Like the painting right. is yeah. telling me what it's painting. Like I'm just responding right. every time I put another layer or another mark. Like this morning I did, I'll show you something. I, uh, I thought this painting was done, but it, I don't know if the light is good enough, but like it was almost done, but then it just wanted this little mark right there. <laughs> so I added oh, wow. that this okay. morning. I don't know if you can see very well. It's yeah, no, I can see it. Yeah, you've got okay. an orange spot, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And now it's sort of like a little beauty mark or something. <laughs> so now I feel like it's done. Right? It's just like that. Oh, lovely. It, and that painting's been hanging around here since 2017. Needing a little yeah. something, well, needing something. Uh, I've heard that from a lot of artists, actually, even just today. How, uh, yeah. I think during this time, it's, there's been a lot of reflection for artists and like a lot of um, playing with new mediums and like trying new things and expressing, trying to find their joy and expressing their art just of who they are and reflecting that. But also, I, I find that like letting art sit for a while and then going back to it or going back yeah. to pieces that they haven't visited for a while. And this sort of tells mm -hmm. that story as well. Like sometimes um, the pieces progress, but it maybe it's from two months ago or three months ago. Maybe it's from a year ago. <laughs> yeah. So like, like I think they I don't kind of have done that. Yeah. They need time to resolve. And it's kind of a metaphor for life in a way. <laughs> you just need, yeah. Things take time. You just have to let it be and 
go with that. You can't fight it. You gotta like go with it. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to uh, see your work in person one day. I won't be able to see this weekend because I'll be at another location. But yeah. I hope that other people um, check out your work um, uh, if it is because you haven't shown very often. So it's kind of great to be able to see work in person. And if they can't make it this weekend, what's, a, what's the best way for someone to get in contact with you? Well, I'm in the um, Riverdale Art Walk virtual show. So there's um, many links the around here button, for that. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I have a website um, which has some of these pieces on it, but I'm kind right. of been holding most of it for the show itself. And because I'm showing in person too, I have a few pieces that are only going to be there as well because it was just too many places to juggle it all. Right. Yeah. So well, yeah, my that's a great thing. Yeah. Yeah. I just I just was feeling overwhelmed by like oh, there's too many places to monitor, <laughs> so I just right. had to kind of like you know, take down the stress and just do it, do it. Well, eat fun. I just want to have fun with it. Yeah. Well, this show is a great opportunity to see a specific location or um, collection from an artist. Um, yeah. To see yeah. Um, highlighted pieces. So that's all. Awesome. People can go to the event and site to the Riverdale artwalk.ca and they can click through to the event and site and they can um, scroll through and find you and connect with you that way. Hopefully they'll be able to check you out live um, this weekend um, at the tent tour. Um, and there's a map on the Riverdale Art, Art Walk yeah. site as well. So you can find mm -hmm. uh, Jerry that way. And then um, post the event. You could find Jerry through her website, which is Jerry. Jerry no. dash Gillen dot art. All right. Excellent. Okay. Well, thanks so much for uh, joining me today. It was great to talk to you. Yeah, you too, bit, Angela. Um, about your work. And mm, uh, thank good luck you so much. Show. Yeah, right, you thanks. too. It's going to be great. Yeah. All right. Okay, awesome. thanks. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye.